Hi, I'm Nigel. Uh, I'm just a jobbing caver, not associated with any club, just uh, coming into the middle of the tunnel for a bit of a day out, really. Where are we, Dave? I don't know. Matthew Chinner from Birmingham, also from Birmingham. Looking forward to another good day out, I hope. Yeah. Excellent. Sure it will be. You're our leader, aren't you? For I today? am indeed. Yes. Kevin. Kevin. And where are we going, Kevin? Where are you taking us? We're going down the Millewood Tunnel into the Powell's Load Cavern. And we're coming back up and we're going to take a trip round the limestone workings. How long's each ladder? Um, for a rough 16, 20 foot. First one's the longest by about three rooms. Did they know what awaited them? If we hear a scream, we'll know not to come in. Yeah. That's what, ladder 12? That's ladder 12. And how many is there? Another 12 after that. Another 12 after that. It's a tidy hole in the ground, isn't it? It is a big hole. Wow. So here we are at the bottom of the shaft. Little points. So this is it, we're heading off down the Willow Tunnel, five miles towards the exit, we're not going to go all the way down. Looking down towards the exit, and we're going to go up here to the right into Powell's Lock. You're quite comfortable in there. Very much so, thank you, Martin. Yeah. Yeah, good. Are jars, aren't it's an early form of battery. Um, oh, that is. Yeah. Jars of lead acid. So you put your head between them two things. Yeah. Yeah. And you get electrocuted. <laughs> yeah. Every time I come, I move it to keep you free. You know, because it will just seize up. But let's face it, you're not getting a mobile signal down here, are you? Follow it right through. It was laddered, but it's been falls. But you can follow this for a hell of a way. The cable. Mm. Did you hear that? And then it goes up. What's, what's underneath there? Nothing. <laughs> Probably the continuation of this. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually got a crown, this elephant. A crown of Galena.
Right then, folks. This is what they call a tippler. And uh, all the waste rock that they didn't want had to go somewhere. They saw this big lake here. I think they tipped in it for several years and it never altered the level of the lake at all. Yeah, must be incredibly deep. They wreck, yeah. They pumped it out to, I believe, about 200 feet. If you were to fall at that point, that would be the end of the joy department. club members built the loco. He used a Lister diesel engine with a rotavator gearbox. Yeah, done a good job. <laughs> So that's it, we think they sucked the water out of that penstock, up that pipe and into this tank. <laughs> 